y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation so today we are renovating 702 Zenview which is in the fashion district it's been a hot minute since I've recreated or renovated not recreated renovated an apartment and honestly here's the thing you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more apartment renovations and a lot more speed builds but don't worry I'm still gonna continue on with the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series I'm kind of stuck on the goth household family right now which is it's a very very uh, hard task to tackle a huge house lots of landscaping just huge <laughs> so I'm struggling a little bit but that will be up very shortly but here's the thing right okay so I have my Sims 2 Let's Plays, Pleasant View, and then I just started Strange Town, so if you haven't watched the first part, go ahead and check it out. I'm really excited about it, um, and I'm having so much fun with The Sims 2, and you guys really enjoy The Sims 2. I know that there's not a lot of channels out there that still put forth Sims 2 content, so I'm definitely going to stick with that. It's just so much fun to me to play with The Sims 2. I don't get bored because it just takes me back to my OG Simmon days, and it just the nostalgia it really really gets me <laughs> so I have a lot of fun doing that so I'm going to continue doing that but I've been really really uninspired and just really bored with the Sims 4 gameplay like I've tried to do my LPs and um I just I can't get into it I can't and I just feel like it's not fair to y'all because you can tell I'm not into it I'm struggling so I'm going to take a break from seasons and get famous both of my Let's Plays for The Sims 4 I have going on right now. I'm just, I don't know why I'm not into it. And it may just be because I've just been going through some things lately. Which you guys will find out shortly what that is. Maybe it's just affected my mood. Not really sure. But I have been really inspired to build and create and, you know, become better at building and stuff like that. Mostly because I have learned with the goth household that I'm doing for my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series that I absolutely freaking suck <laughs> at terrain. And I really want to get better. So I've been watching a lot of speed builds. I've been practicing. And I want to have more building on my channel. Um, I feel like I don't have enough, like, speed builds. I have plenty of, like, my recreations. But I want to get creative and create my own homes for the sims if that makes sense so yeah i expect to see a lot more of that um so i hope you guys don't mind that we'll be taking a break on those let's plays hopefully you guys will enjoy the sims too and that will be good enough for now but anyways back to this apartment that we are renovating obviously i kind of skipped to my explanation before i explained the um Oh my gosh can't can't get my can't get my thoughts together the apartment but this is an apartment obviously in the fashion district and I was really inspired to play around with some of the new get famous items and the new fashion designer career and I figured you know that this would be the perfect apartment in the fashion district for a possible you know I mean I wouldn't say YouTuber I didn't give her like a little YouTube station but I imagine that she's like a legit fashion designer she just got her foot into the industry she's not that big but obviously she's you know got it made she's got a very nice house little very nice house or apartment so I imagine that she's maybe like mid level mid mid-level midway through if that makes sense in her career um I don't think she has you know the money right now to move to Del Sol Valley and live in a huge mansion I don't think she's by no means Kate Spade at this point but she's definitely getting there so I was really inspired to create an apartment for a fashionista sim a fashion designer and I really love how it turned out it's very glamorous I went with black and white theme mostly because I really wanted to use that zebra rug and um, those pictures right there the fashion designer pictures I placed those all throughout her house obviously that is her inspiration um, fashion you know like Marilyn Monroe and um, not me okay who was the other person why can't I think of the other person that's important <laughs> when it comes to fashion. Audrey Hepburn. There you go. That's what those pictures remind me of. So I imagine that obviously that would be her style. The black and white. The very glamorous, girly. I imagine that she would, you know, obviously be a socialite. She has lots of friends. So I, I wanted to, you know, make this place very entertaining. Full. Entertaining. Full. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so obviously when I get into the dining room, it's, um, I struggled a little bit with the dining room. Mostly because... I imagine since she is a socialite and she is in that fashion designer career that 
she would host a lot of parties, have a lot of friends over, so I wanted to give her a big dining table. So the dining space was not that big, and I was trying to, you know, decorate it and whatnot, but it just looked really cluttered, so I struggled trying to get it um, decorated, <laughs> I guess, and cluttered, but I actually kept the clutter to a minimal just because I felt like it was just too much. Sometimes you can go overboard with clutter in an apartment because the space is so small, but I really like this floor plan for this apartment. Um, definitely not one I've used before. Like I said, I've been trying to get more creative and kind of think outside the box and really challenge myself when it comes to like these builds I'm going to start working on. So hopefully you guys can see that and it will, you know, portray itself in, in my designs and in my build, my designs, pff, girl please, <laughs> in my builds. But yeah, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> Why am I out of breath? It's like, I feel like I'm talking so fast, but I'm just so tired all the time. So tired. See, I'm making myself yawn talking about how tired I am. <laughs> and I think that's why I'm getting out of breath. Because, honestly, I've sat here at work all day today. I'm doing this voiceover at work. <laughs> What's new? Um, I'm about to actually leave and start shopping for the holidays, which is fun. <laughs> You know, I got two paychecks until Christmas, and I have not bought one thing, so I'm going to get started today when I leave here, but I feel like I, I've been so slow at work today. We haven't been busy at all, so I haven't really been talking, and then I get on here, and I do this voiceover, and I'm trying to, like, talk 50 words per minute. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not talking too fast for you guys. I'm probably just exaggerating a little bit, but anyways, I'm just tired, <laughs> and I'm out of breath, so I do apologize, but anyways, yeah, I really like this kitchen. Um, I think it's really cute right there. Like I said, this floor plan is ideal, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a liar. I did not come up with this floor plan by myself. So, I know I'm talking about wanting to get better and all of that. Well, here's the thing. I do want to do that, but I'm not one of those people who can get on The Sims and just let my imagination run wild and just uh, an image of a house or a layout of a house is in my head and I just bring it to life in The Sims. No, I have to go to Pinterest <laughs> to get my inspiration. So I'm going to be making real life houses <laughs> a thing in The Sims 4, but like it's challenging because they're different. You know, you get what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Um, and same thing with these apartments. I actually found some apartments um, on Pinterest that people did at The Sims 4 with different layouts, which really helps me because I'm not going to lie, I get stuck with floor plans. I think that's one of the main reasons I cannot build a house from scratch because I have no idea how to plan the flooring and the floor plan or whatever. I need um, like a, a design, a floor plan layout, and I can go around it that way. So that's just me. <laughs> if you can do it and, you know, just kill it on your own, that's great. I, I'm very envious of you. I wish I could. Maybe I'll get to that point. But for now, I am just taking inspiration and learning as I go. Um, I don't think I'm the only one, so that's okay. <laughs> you know, we have to get better some way or the other, but... Anyways, yeah, I think this turned out really, really cute. And um, next, after I have got to finish the goth family house for the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series, I've just got to. <laughs> I've been working on it for so long, and once I upload it, I will explain it. But while I'm just trying to talk and waste time, let me, let me just tell you. That house is massive from The Sims 3, if you guys don't remember. Like, the details of it and the landscaping is just beautiful and just very detailed, right? So, I spent so much time getting it perfect. And I was so impressed with how it turned out. Guess what? Found out I wasn't even recording half of it. So, guess what? I had to go take screenshots of it, delete it, bulldoze it, and then I had to start from scratch and rebuild it. So, that's why I've been delayed. That's kind of why I'm fed up with the goth house. I don't even want to do it anymore, but I've got to push through. <laughs> but after I do that, I'm going to work on um, some modern mansions because that's something I'm not very good at building. So, you know, I'm trying to go outside the box and challenge myself. I want to really, you know, focus on Del Sol Valley a little bit because I haven't really done that since Get Famous has come out. Since I haven't really done a lot of building outside of my recreation series that I have going on. Um, so I do want to create some mansions um, for Del Sol Valley. I think that'll be fun. And then I also 
found some really cool houses that are like mid modern century houses that look like they'll fit in really nice with the other neighborhood mirage park in del sol valley so i'm definitely excited to get started on that so stay tuned um hopefully i will have lots of speed builds and renovations for y'all i just i don't know why sometimes i get in the mood where i just want to build you know and when i'm playing i just want to build and sometimes i get sick of building and i just want to play right now i'm at that point where i just want to build and that's how i feel more or the most creative so yeah <laughs> i don't know what it is with the let's play i just i feel like a failure because i just started my get famous you know lp um <laughs> You know, I'm only part two in, and I already am over it. But honestly, I think, and this is just me being real and being honest, um, I think it's because, yes, I hit 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing, and I'm so thankful for it, and it's a huge milestone, but I'm still very much a small YouTuber and a small simmer in this community. And it's like when new game packs or expansion packs come out and all of the more familiar, more popular YouTubers start LPs, you kind of start to get lost. You know, you're a little fish in a big pond. And it's like when I'm not getting the views that I want, it's discouraging and it kind of makes me not want to even go forward. I mean, I know... I'm being real, I'm being honest, that's just my mindset. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on my channel at all. Um, but it's a little discouraging, and I think most of y'all who are, you know, small YouTubers can definitely agree with me there. But, yeah, it's it's been a little bit discouraging, but, um, you know what, it's okay. <laughs> um, beside from that, I don't know, I just, I just cannot get into it lately. I don't know why. But, yeah, anyways. <laughs> um... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I kind of got a little confused. But, yeah. Okay. So, here is the whole fashion aspect of this apartment. Obviously, it is two bedroom, but I imagine this is just a single sim. She's not married yet. She's very career focused, career oriented, not studying a family or anything like that. I imagine, you know, she does date around, but... So, you know, I, I mean, you could use this for a bedroom if you wanted a, a kid or something. But since this is a fashion designer's apartment, I wanted her to have her own office. Um, so I used the little fashion vision board there and the little um, drawing sketch pad for her to use. And then I also put the um, the acting wardrobe um you know, the fashion designer thing where you can change their outfits, that makes sense. And then I put some mannequins from the Get um, get to Work expansion pack and, you know, she can dress them up. And I don't know, I just feel like this girl right here has got it going on, whoever she may be. Uh, my sim from my um, LP, well, yeah, my LP Get Famous, Ellie Blake, she is a fashion designer. Well, actually, um, I actually changed it to, a, like, a YouTuber, like, a fashionista or whatever, fashion YouTuber, vlogger, whatever you want to call it. I definitely can see her living in a house like this. It's just so girly and so glamorous, but you can tell that she's she's got it going on, and <laughs> um, she's going to make it far, and eventually I can imagine her in a nice mansion. You know, she's the next Kate Spade or whatever, and Del Soul Valley, but, you know, this is her humble beginnings, um, in the fashion district of San Mashuno, which I like to think of San Mashuno, San Mashuno <laughs> as not far from Del Sol Valley because it's like apartment life, you know, I just imagine that it's not on the other side of the world, but it's like very near, uh, but anyways, guys, this video is wrapping up, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling now. Hopefully, your ears don't hurt and you're not sick of me. Uh, please subscribe if you like this video. If you want to download this apartment, it is available for download on the gallery. It is uploaded as a room. Since it is two stories, it's two separate rooms, so make sure you check that out and do it, um, if that makes sense. If you are confused, ask me in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!